Because this is made of us. Oh, that's from made yesterday. of us. <laughs> this is made in U.S. of U.S. Soil and green is people. Good morning. So I slept on a rock today and or last night and I kept slipping down uh, the hill because <laughs> I'm on a very steep incline right now. Um, it's also still, I, it's still me. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna start off the next day. Uh, again, I don't know. I can't even think, I, just, I literally just woke up. I literally just woke up. I just needed to capture the whole camp, like climbing out of their little sleeping bags on the pointy rocks, because it's fucking hilarious. Hey guys, what are we doing? No. Our beer butt punctured. It's a bad injury. <laughs> the most important form of first aid. It is uh, 10.30. I have officially been out for about 24 hours straight, which is a new record for me. Um, but Daniel has been like actively pushing um, to get up front because he wants to go canoe. And I'm like, nah, bitch, you had your chance. You made me come out while the body was having anxiety. Like, I'm actually having fun now, so <laughs> you're not gonna take this from me. But uh, he's keeping, he kept pushing and uh, bitch is giving me a headache. So. I'm gonna try to stay my ground, but we'll see. I just don't think it's fair. I should be allowed to have fun, you know what I mean? But we are stopped again um, to look at more rocks because this changed color, so we wanna see why and observe and do all that geology stuff that Wynn super loves. She's still super buried. I kind of felt her a little bit this morning, um, but she was still like really shaky and stuff. So she's just gonna stay in back. I kind of feel bad for her to be honest. Cause like this was her trip, you know? And she, uh, like she was looking forward to this so much and she would love the shit out of this. So at the very least, I hope that she's not buried back so far that I can't like hand her fresh, clear memories of everything that happened, even if she couldn't do it firsthand. You know what I mean? I really hope that at least before we leave, like she gets one last chance to say goodbye to Nevada and the river and everything like that. But I really don't want the body to go into anxiety and like fuck up the whole headspace again. So, <sighs> thus is traveling with a mental disorder. It's a bitch. That's my new book. Is that and that's my hand. That's my hand. I just fell down that. I slid the whole way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All that pain and scratched up skin. So that I could see that. I don't know if it was worth it though. I made it to the top without dying. Look how pretty it is from up here. So we're all stopped for lunch and everybody's sitting up here on the terrace, but I do not trust this thing uh, at all after falling 20 feet on my butt. Like, I am I am so done with this place. Let's get back on the river. <laughs> These girls are going to jump again. <laughs> they were disappointed I didn't film it the first time. <laughs> Two, one, one, three. <laughs> Crazy bitches. Crazy bitches. Every single one of them. Kit doesn't go in the water. I'm not doing that shit. Kit does not get wet. <laughs> this is how Kit cools down. I get to put this poor little broken baby out of her misery. There you go. We're sharing the broken baby. Baby. It's a very, very warm, broken baby. <laughs> I love my broken it's actually warm. delicious. But yeah, it's it's still really good. It's amazing how low your standards get after a few days on the river. <laughs> the duck couple followed us. They're still here. These ballsy assholes want food from us so bad. 
feathers. Yeah, it's the same ducks. It actually is the same one. What the hell? Go mess. Go mess. That headwind we were so worried about yesterday has finally caught up with us and it is such a bitch. My arms are so tired and we are barely moving. So we stopped at the sandbar um, to, you know, take geology notes or whatever and Daniel finally pushed through. He has been pushing for hours and he finally pushed through to get up front and he was out in the body for a total of maybe five minutes because I am sore as heck. My muscles hurt, like my ears are sunburnt, we got heat rash on our hands, like and he just could not handle how uncomfortable we the body feels right now. So uh, let it be known that I am the baddest bitch in the system. Thank you very much. It is fucking raining. You have got to be fucking kidding me. If this picks up, I'm going to scream. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life on the beach. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh my god. So, I just, that was awful. <laughs> I just worked harder than I think I've ever worked in my whole life. Everything hurts. I have this much energy left. Uh, but now, but this, this fairy, this girl got us all the way down the river against the wind by herself let it be known that kit did all the work on this adventure <laughs> now that we're somewhere stable though daniel feels like he might want to come out again so i'm gonna let him set up camp so this might be the last you hear from me um for the trip so mwah! i love you my little bitches bye oh my god these motherfuckers they flew in over our head as we were pulling up. These guys have followed us the whole way down the river. I'm naming you Stuart and Patricia. Our ducks. Okay, Kit might not have wanted to get wet. Wynn might have been okay with this like baby towel stuff, uh, but I can't live without a shower, so I don't care how cold that river is, I'm going in. That was... That's like 50 degree water, so that bath was no joke, but I feel so much better now. Like, I'm ready to conquer the world. Now it's time to set up camp, let's go. We already, we already just canoed all day and all day yesterday. And now they want us to hike from all the way down there to all the way up there for camp with all of our gear. Kit gave it literally everything we had getting up to the shore i have already stopped twice now trying to get up to the camp i'm exhausted is up my hair is dry and hiking all the way back down to the lake because i ran out of water and i get to use a cool little water pump to get some more water Tonight we're busting out the MREs that I brought from home because we're gonna need it, you know, it's been a long week, need a good bust of calories. Um, Katie has never eaten MREs before, so she's gonna try it for the very first time. <laughs> now I gotta zoom in on the instructions because this is my favorite part. Put on a rock or something. <laughs> Katie's got patriotic cookies. Look how patriotic that cookie is. Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Not too bad. Not too bad? <laughs> it tastes a little bit of plastic, but otherwise it's good. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> I'm back. So I've been gone for like two days or a day and a half. Um, but I pretty much remember everything because my connection with Kit and Daniel is really, really good. Um, it's a little foggy, but I'm really looking forward to uh, looking at the videos and you know seeing everything from their perspective. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot more stable 
and I'm really happy to be out. I actually have a little bit of like one bar of phone signal where I am right now, so I got to call and say goodnight to my husband, and so that really, you know, just kind of helps steady me out and such. So, yeah, I'm about to pass out. I am so unbelievably exhausted right now. Um, and I am going to sleep like a rock. No pun intended. Ah, uh, geology jokes. Alright, see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. It is really gorgeous out today. And I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle some more because Daniel only filled up like a third of it. It's like, I'm done, I'm exhausted, which I can't blame him. I'm a little disappointed that I missed out on the river because I really love canoeing. Um, I think it's a blast. And being on the river is really peaceful. But on the other hand, I'm really happy to know that even if I, like, I as Wynn cannot handle a situation that I as a multiple, as a system, that we collectively can get through just fine. Um, I mean, that gives me, that gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, this is, I, get, I think, been one of the biggest tests of our system working together. You know, I've only been aware of them since January of 2017. And since then, we've built a lot of communication, learned a lot about each other, um, but we're still learning about each other. I mean, I feel like we're still going to be learning things for a really long time because a year is not enough time to know, you know, nine other people <laughs> exceptionally well. And like, they know each other better than I do, but I'm still, you know, getting to know them. And I feel like they're still learning about each other too. I'm, I'm really proud of me and a kid and Daniel for taking care of the body and staying safe and, you know, taking the opportunity to have fun and, and get the, get all of us through what was for myself a really, really shitty situation. So yeah, big thanks to my system mates. I'm really proud of them. So I came up, um, a little bit further past camp because there's some dumpsters over here so we can throw away the trash that we've been carrying with us um, this whole time. And uh, I noticed something. Oops. That's our campsite. We didn't see this. <laughs> Good thing it didn't rain too hard. We are going back on the river today. Technically it's a lake at this point. Um, so there's no current to paddle against. Hi cat. But uh, yeah, so the body is absolutely dead. Um, and we're all thrilled about going back on the river lake, whatever. Do you see her excitement? Oh, so I guess, sorry for the confusion. We are still on the Colorado River. There's just, there's like so many different messages coming from so many people. Like I don't even know what's real anymore. I feel like we're just all tired and communication has gone to sh uh, not good. It's gone to not good. Yeah, so we're gonna go one more time out on the river. Gonna use those muscles. I'm gonna be so swollen when we get back. Lido's gonna be thrilled. We're gonna be able to do actual push-ups. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Da, da, da. I don't know the words. Just looking through my notebook, you can see how much we've switched. Here's Daniel's page and my page. There's another Daniel. And there's Kit. Her <laughs> giant handwriting. More Kit. And that's me. So, kind of a little mini document of our adventures. We're off the river. We dragged the canoes all the way up to the campsite. And I'm so done with everything right now. I had to go to the bathroom in a bag. It's raining. I'm tired. 
and we had to take our tent down so I'm not even protected from the rain and I can't lay down because there's rocks. <laughs> I am so, I am so done with this adventure. <laughs> Spring break 2018, woo! Katie's got the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> a little tin foil tent. <laughs> In our desperation, Pat and I have made a tent. <laughs> it's a blanket, but it works. <laughs> Army issued, I believe. Yay! <laughs> it's our final night of camping, and there is a big old storm that's rolling in. Like we saw it coming in over the mountains, and it's gonna hit us real hard. So we're desperately trying to throw up our tents uh, to make sure that we have it up before the rain, and then we're gonna go eat some real food. We are in the van, we are going to the aquatic center, and we are going to take a shower! Oh my god! Shower time! <laughs> we went to the pool, but we didn't go swimming. Thank you for the shower, Las Vegas! <laughs> okay, so, we are showered, we are clean, and now I get my very first experience going to a new restaurant. Uh, it is Mexican food, it's probably not very good Mexican food, but right now I'm very, very hungry. And so any Mexican food, any food, is good. Mm. Okay. Hair is very thick. Is it now? So, my very first restaurant adventure. And I'm going to eat Mexican food. Uh, I do not, I cannot speak to the quality of this Mexican food. But we are in the South. Nevada is the South. No. It's, it's Southern America. It's Southwest, Thank you. Just to prove my point, because I want to prove my point. What does it say? That says Southwest. South. That says South. We are in the South. <laughs> first taste. First taste. I think this is the first time I've ever eaten food in the body. So this is my first food ever. Here we go. Hope it's good. <laughs> I do not know if it is because I'm hungry or because I've eaten nothing but freeze-dried food for a week or if this is actually very good but five out of five stars would eat again I have eaten more than I think it was ever intended for me to eat but I ate most I ate most of my burrito that was as big as my arm and my stomach is full to bursting and I am warm and I am happy so tonight is, is the best night of the trip best night <laughs> Good morning! It is Friday. It's the last day. Um, I really need to write a scathing review about the sleep mat that I got because it's got no holes. I've checked like 20 times and the seal is completely shut. I made sure and uh, yet it deflates at night and I end up sleeping with rocks poking in my back. So shame on you. Uh, brand I can't remember because off the top of my head but yeah um, I feel great after a good meal uh, I had heartburn like crazy uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't care because it was real food um, so after a good meal and a shower um, and some sleep I am ready for today I am ready to go conquer this last adventure and then get on the plane and go home but let's just take a moment to enjoy this view one last time And then that's the drainage. Drainage, okay. That's cool. That is neat. From here, all the way to here. That was our adventure. Our carvings are from Oaxaca, Mexico. The carvings are made by the Oaxaca tribe of the Indians, who are actually the spiritual carvers for the Zapotec tribe. Uh, we've been, as a not-for-profit, we're allowed to sell these products, even though they're spiritually-minded people and, and spiritually-related people, we're allowed to sell these products on special contract with the Oaxaca Indians. Cool, so thank you for You're doing welcome. that. I found this beautiful big horn sheep, and it was just like it was calling. It was, he's so beautiful. And then hearing the story about how they were made is just, 
I, I could not bring him home. So this is my new baby. <laughs> and I'm going to put him in a very special place in my home. So you'll be seeing him in the background of my vlogs from now on. Beautiful mountains. <laughs> Beautiful clear sky. Good gracious. I just walked across the entire landscape I just showed you. Uh, and we're still not at our destination. And honest to God, I have no idea what we're gonna go see. And neither do the students that I've been talking to. It's very hot. I hope it's exciting. <laughs> oh man, guys, this is what we walked for. It's dirt that used to be a spring. Sorry, dirt. Did I say dirt? <laughs> it's soil. Soil that used to be a <laughs> spring. Basically, this whole area is a place that used to have a bunch of really cool fossils like mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and all that stuff. Uh, the key being used to. Uh, there aren't any anymore. And there are tons of walls of this soil all over this uh, area. Um, but that one was apparently a really special one. Uh, and so we had to hike the whole way out here to see that one special one. So Sarah, <laughs> what was it like traveling with a multiple? It's whatever. <laughs> you know, like, it's you. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't, and you like I me. never really think anything of it. Awesome. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I like you no matter what. She likes me no matter what. <laughs> so Katie, what was it like going on a trip with a multiple? I mean, I kind of feel more of going on a trip with you since we've known each other for a while. But um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice to get to know a bit more of you. More of you. More of me. Um, <laughs> All of the ten. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's been interesting. It's been a good time. Yay. It's been a good time. Good time. It's very bright. Cat, uh, what was it like traveling with a multiple? It's like having three extra people on this trip. Three, three people in the same body. Four of you, I guess, counting one. Yeah. Um, not that different from interacting with you in class. It's always just kind of fun to play spot the, spot the altar. Spot the altar? <laughs> sort of, because I can tell who's who based on like voices and, and how you carry yourself and stuff like that. So. Uh, Spot the altar, that's yeah, a fun game. Like, hmm, who's out? I wonder. <laughs> Sometimes I have to ask. Yeah, the asking is good. Asking questions is good. So, yeah, and that's all she wrote. Um, so now it's just me and my ram and uh, really sunburned ears. And uh, I gotta wait in the airport three hours for my flight. And that's the whole story. So thanks so much for coming along with me on this journey. Uh, it was really fun for me. Like. It had a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but I know for sure that I'm never ever gonna forget this. Um, and I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I came and I had this adventure. I learned so much about my own system um, and myself and just, and my friends, you know? So yeah, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this trip was a win. So thanks for coming along. Bye.